up trappers check it out we're here in the trapway man another beautiful day uh you can see we got the hood up on the mini truck man the blazer we had such a good time at the meet thanks to everybody for coming out david ford that bike is awesome thank you again brother for coming out i appreciate it uh we're gonna do a better job this week promoting the meets uh things like that so that way more people know to come out pretty much last week's meet was just uh to go out for just pretty much our local and small group of us guys to go out check out the spot uh and just get oriented with uh where we're at how we like things that sort of thing so we didn't really invite a large group out but everybody who did come out and show up Brent Missler, i know you come out uh we missed you we were all, we were all a little late but brother i appreciate you coming out you and your woman uh thank you both for coming out and bringing this thing i see you coming through town uh sorry we missed you next week maybe we'll be a little better on time but anyway uh we've been working on the radiator and stuff with the mini truck um got the new thermostat in the other night super simple easy guys i'll show you how that went in and uh we put the rest of that bars leak in uh so far between the two it's top notch but i'm gonna get you flipped around and i'll show you how easy and simple this was guys it's awesome in case you're wondering that's uh frankie lyman in the background i don't know the copyrights i don't know if they flagged me for it or not but whatever but anyway guys let's get this flipped around all right guys we got the gimbal in a little different mode today i got it in sport mode so hopefully it's a little faster than what i'm used to but this thing's running guys so it might be a little loud i've been keeping an eye on the coolant level down here see if you guys can see it i've been making sure it's got coolant in the crack you can see you can see where it was right there Another shout out to O'Reilly's. This stuff's awesome, works great. This is a pre-diluted, ready to use stuff. So if you're on the go, you wanna keep some with you, uh, you can keep this thing sealed up and it's ready for the road. You know, if you're having problems like I'm having and you don't wanna carry some of this around or want another jug to dilute it in or need to worry about having the water, guys, pick this up. It's the ready to go stuff and it's universal. So you don't have to uh, worry about whether it's that orange crap that these things uses, the deck's cool or the green stuff. This is a mix with anything. And right there, O'Reilly's, man, it's 10 bucks. It's good to keep a jug of this in your vehicle all the time, especially as summer's coming. You know the heat takes toll on vehicles and the weather changing and stuff makes everything in your vehicle change. So guys, if you get a chance, stop out at O'Reilly's right there, Napanee. Uh, if you're not in Napanee, look up your uh, local O'Reilly's, man. Hit them up. Keep some of this in your car, guys. But that's the main truck, man. It's running top notch. Look, it's not leaking. Let's see if we can get a view. You guys can see it's not leaking anything there guys and that's where I've been able to see it all pour out and come out is right there under under there so and this seems dry and we're doing good in there and we took it for coffee this morning we sat we ran the AC took it for a little drive uh, it's dry guys it didn't spew on me it didn't overheat none of that stuff it seems to do okay it stayed dry it didn't overheat it didn't bubble out so maybe that stuff really did work guys maybe i was wrong so if you're having problems in that sort you guys i don't know if you actually seen this thing spewing but i know what got to see it the other day and if you did see it you know it's spewing pretty good so if that stuff really did work that's pretty damn good uh i used half before but i didn't fix the thermostat so I think the sticky thermostat with some of it, and I have the thermostat in there in the box, guys. Um, I was gonna break it out and show you, but it's just a dirty old thermostat, and it's, I mean, if you have one like that, it's obvious, man. It's sticky and it's not good. It has sediment and stuff all built up in it. The new one seems to be working great, guys, so that's cool. I'm happy with it so far. I'll keep you updated. If we need that radiator, we know where to go. We'll go get that thing. So that's what it is, guys. That's what we're doing. Okay. I think we got some other things coming up this evening. I know Randy Woods, uh, I should be getting a hold of his truck tonight and we're gonna get a stereo in there But I'm gonna have a go around and show you guys underneath the hood. I'm telling you uh, It's a 1998 Ford F-150 and guys I'm telling you it's clean when I show you under that hood You're not gonna believe it. Uh, hopefully to bring it out next weekend to the show. That would be awesome uh, Really really cool. We did talk to Melvin. Melvin didn't make it out uh, The Camaro is in the shop. He's getting that hood put in so he said when he gets it out of the shop uh, he's going to try and bring it out, guys. So that'll be real awesome. So uh, if I hear word from him, I'll keep you guys updated and all that good stuff. So that's what it is, guys. We'll see you in the next clip. Keep on traffic. All right, guys. I want to take a quick second and show you what we use to uh, remedy our radiator on the mini truck. 
Um, and I'll show you where that thermostat is and what we did. It's real simple, guys. Uh, we're going to get this flipped around. Check this out. All right, guys. I got the stuff sitting back here. Uh, let's see. Right here. This is the bars leak. Uh, we used half of this uh, before. I replaced the thermostat, and it didn't really seem to work. But I think uh, with the thermostat and the shape it was, uh, this isn't going to work, period. So uh, we kind of wasted the first half with that, guys. Generally, I think it probably would have been smarter to uh, just fix the thermostat because that was my original suspect of the initial calls anyway. Um, but we tried that, and then after we replaced the thermostat, we tried the other half of this, and it seemed to do okay. So, uh, you know, you might be able to get away with just half. Uh, we might not have to use it all like we did. But this is... Uh, I forget how much it is, but it's out at O'Reilly's too. It's bars leaks, radiator stop leak. Uh, we use the concentrate. Uh, seem to do okay for now. Uh, the thermostat here, guys, I think this was like eight bucks. And you see how it's all rusted and funky? Over here, I noticed there was sediment build up around the bottom of the spring here. If your thermostat looks like that, guys, and you're overheating, it's probably bad. There's a way to test this. I think you push on this somehow or something. I forget. But you could, if you really want to know how to test that for sure, uh, you could probably Google it real easy. I'm sure there's a bunch of how-to videos uh, on YouTube on how to change this and how to test it, all that stuff, guys. But this is 8 bucks at O'Reilly, so for 20 bucks we solved the problem pretty much, or at least for now we've remedied it. Um, hopefully it doesn't leave us with our pants down later on, but check this out. In this truck, this thermostat was pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, right here, I just undid the screw here for the air intake. I pulled this piece off, and their clips were broke. Uh, this one had no top, and I think they had this one zip tied. So pretty much, I cut the zip ties, and I finished pulling this side out. But this whole piece, I just lifted this piece up, slid it out, set it off to the side, and then the thermostat guys you see right here you see that upper bolt there and let's see there's another one down here on the bottom uh you just undo those i didn't even have to undo this hose here or anything it just to come right off it was in there plucked it out with a screwdriver the seal was good was already in there uh, i cleaned it up put the new one back in bolted it back on uh slid this back underneath here redid uh the clamp and i used these universal pins here I know they're white, they're not the greatest for on the black, but they work and it's not zip tied. So that's good, that's what we did to remedy that so far with the mini truck guys. And if you look here, I don't know if we can get a good shot. It's so bright out here right now. Um, it is, I mean, it's all dry down in there. So on my drive last night and yesterday, I took it over to Wooks for a little while and drove it around and you know, let it idle and hit switches on him and all that good stuff, you know around and then today it did good too so it seems to be all right for now at least guys so we'll see how it does i'll keep you updated uh we'll see you in the next clip keep on trapping we stand out like bird shit on a black shoe